Hey everybody, it's Mario from PilotEffect.com with another very exciting video for you. In this one we are offering a discussion on the inclinometer. Let's take a look. The turn and slip indicator and the turn coordinator both provide turn information using gyroscopes, but they also include the inclinometer, more commonly referred to as the ball. The ball is a separate instrument and it doesn't use gyroscopes at all. Instead, it uses gravity and inertia to tell us about coordination. The inclinometer is used to indicate coordination of an aircraft. Coordination is a term we use to refer to the slip angle. The slip angle is the angle between the relative airflow and the longitudinal axes of the aircraft, as seen from above. In coordinated flight, the slip angle should be zero. In other words, the relative airflow should be parallel to the longitudinal axis. With any slip angle other than zero, we are in uncoordinated flight. The best way to measure and indicate coordination, or slip, is with a direct measurement of the airflow angle. In gliders, we usually use a yaw string to do exactly this. The yaw string aligns with the relative airflow. So if the string is pointing straight back, the glider is coordinated. If the string is deflected to the side, the glider is in a slip and therefore uncoordinated. To get from uncoordinated flight to coordinated flight, the rule here is to apply rudder by stepping on the space. That will yaw the aircraft into the relative airflow and reduce the slip angle, ideally to zero. In a powered aircraft, at least in single engine aircraft with the engine on the nose, a yaw string won't work because the airflow is disrupted by the propeller slipstream. As a result, an inclinometer, the ball, is used to provide coordination information. However, the inclinometer doesn't actually measure slip angle. It measures lateral acceleration and compares it to bank angle. In other words, it compares centrifugal force to gravity. This balance between lateral acceleration and bank angle determines the position of the ball, which provides information about coordination or slip. In coordinated straight and level flight, the wings are level and there are no lateral accelerations. The ball is held in the low point of the glass tube by gravity. If we roll the aircraft but don't turn, requiring the use of opposite rudder, the low point moves and gravity pulls the ball off center. On the other hand, if we yaw the aircraft while keeping the wings level, requiring the use of opposite aileron, the air loads on the fuselage cause a lateral acceleration and the ball gets pulled off center. If we roll the aircraft and allow it to turn, gravity and the lateral acceleration balance and keep the ball centered. And that's all I have for you on this video. But before I let you go, I just wanna tell you about our website, piloteffect.com, where we offer various mobile apps and courses that I think you're really gonna like. So if you have time, check it out. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.